Ladies and gentlemen, we have some unsubstantiated rumors from NVIDIA camp that they're working and about to release the GeForce GTX Titan, which is going to be a 6 gigabyte GDR5 RAM with a single GK110 based Kepler GPU, two DVI ports, one HDMI, one display port with a PCI Express 3.0, 16 times bus based GPU unit. And to see this is impressive specifications is, well, an understatement really. Now the same GPU is used in the Telsa K20X boards, which are designed for high performance computing and others not really for consumer level. Those boards feature 384 bit memory bus combined, made up of six 64 bit controllers running in parallel and 15 streaming multiprocessor, also known as SMX units, with 192 CUDA cores each for a total of 2880 processor cores. Now, before you start drooling too much of the idea of having that in your home system, it's unlikely that you're going to be having quite that level of performance. NVIDIA's bosses have basically said that it's likely that these are going to be ones that didn't quite make the bin for that particular um, Telsa boards. In other words, ones that may have some sort of a manufacturing defect. So they could either have faulty SMX units or maybe even just ones that are just disabled from the get-go. Indeed, it appears from rumours anyway that it's going to have one less, so it's going to have 14 activated SMX units for a total of 2,688 CUDA cores. Now bear in mind, if you're familiar with the GTX 690, that design has 3,072 cores, but that's with dual GPUs, as obviously they're packed onto the same board. However, this is not the case for the Titan. The Titan is a single GPU design. What about heat, I hear you cry? Well, apparently it's going to be fairly thermal efficient. And it actually seems to be sub 300 watt thermal design. In fact, it might even only be 235, which is extremely impressive. This is basically due to the 28NM GK110 uh, design. Okay, so what are you going to be expected to pay for this? Well, get ready, embrace yourself, around 900 euros. That's around 770 Great British Pounds. Now, while that may sound absolutely ridiculously priced, bear in mind that the Telsa K20s themselves cost, well, around 2,600 British Pounds. So, in that sense, you're getting kind of a bargain. Whether this is actually going to be worth your time and money to actually purchase, I'm not really sure. I, I think this is going to appeal to maybe very, very high-level performance enthusiasts or maybe those who like benching rather than just the average consumer. Certainly, you know, for most people, it's not really going to be worth it. Um, and I'd recommend you probably stick to the card you've got or you know a sensible level price one regardless it is very cool and obviously it's a preview of technology to come so anyway hopefully you've enjoyed the video and i will see you around soon take care of yourselves and bye for now